Hey guys, this is Avi Hoffman filming from my old dorm building in the old city of Jerusalem. Right behind my head, we see the panorama view of the entire city of Ramallah, which is all lit up now because it's about 12.30 at night here in Jerusalem. Directly to the right of that, we have the Mount of Olives, right to the right of my head up here, which is the oldest and most famous Jewish cemetery in the world. Many biblical characters are buried there. And directly to the right of that, we have the Kotel, the Western Wall, where we just were a couple of days ago, the Temple Mount, and the Dome of the Rock. So, first of all, I want to say that I miss all of you guys very much. Hope you're all doing very well. And I hope you had a safe trip back home and are all resting from the lack of sleep that we all had on TJJ. Second of all, I want to say that since I missed, unfortunately, the final session of the summer, I didn't get to hear what many of you guys had to say, but Rev. Derek told me, as well as the other advisors, that you guys said some unbelievable things regarding something you thought, something you felt, and something that you plan on doing when you go back to the United States. You guys said some amazing things, and unfortunately, I wasn't there to hear it. So if any of you want to share one more time with me what you guys said, I would love to hear what you had to say so you guys know how to call me or how to reach me. And since I wasn't there, I wasn't able to tell you guys something that I thought, something that I felt, something that I plan on doing back in America. So I thought I'd shoot this short little video and share what I felt what I thought and what I plan on doing so something one one thing on the trip that got me thinking was a session that Rev Derek ran where we all took a bunch of steps uh, one step for everything that we value for example Rev Derek would say do you value your parents and if you did you take a step forward do you value the Jewish people another step forward do you value Israel another step forward and I remember that at the end, when he finished the whole list, we'd leave our shoe, the place where we ended up. And then we started from the line where we started from again. And then Rev Derek asked, now what did you do for your parents today? Or if you did something for your parents today, take a step forward. And whoever did, took a step forward. And did you do something for the Jewish people today? Take a step forward. And I remember that when I made the second round of steps, I only got about halfway back to my shoe. And that got me thinking about things that I value in my life and whether I'm being proactive enough in my daily life regarding things that I find valuable. The, that is the first thing, something that I thought about. Something that I felt was when we visited the Kotel for the first time. Many of you guys were visiting for the first time in your lives. And that day when we walked around the old city and took a whole tour, um, I think it was in the second week, uh, walking around with you guys and seeing how you guys appreciated the air and the stones of Jerusalem gave me a new appreciation for the city of Jerusalem and for the state of Israel, even though I lived here for a long time, for a couple of years, and I, I definitely have a, an appreciation for the city and I love it very much. Seeing how you guys were, were here for the first time and how much you guys loved it and how much you guys appreciated it made me feel like I appreciated it on a new level. And so I want to thank you guys for that, and that was an awesome day. Thank you for the guys who came with me, and for the people who hopped those fences and had an awesome time. And the third thing, the thing that I want to do, something that I'm going to start to do now, and when I go back home, is every day I'm going to try to make three people smile. That's my resolution, to try to make three people a little bit happier than they were before, and try to make the world a little bit of a happier place. So that's what I... Those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And so you guys know how to reach me. Whoever wants to tell me, I'd love to hear it. Now, I said this to a few people before. I don't want to say it again. And that is that there were many amazing discussions, conversations, and questions that were asked and discussed on TJJ. And I just want to say that just because we left Ben-Gurion Airport doesn't mean the conversations have to stop there. You guys know how to reach all of us. That was the purpose for the WhatsApp group. And now there's a new Facebook page that Yael created. So you guys know how to reach all of us. And we'd love to continue the conversations that we were having before. Please, please, please stay in touch. And from the city of Jerusalem on Thursday night, I just want to wish you guys an amazing Shabbos. Hope you're all doing well. I miss all of you. And please stay in touch. You guys are awesome. Have a great Shabbos. Take care. Bye.